The conference hall of Ukraine's Verkhovna Rada was crowded yesterday morning. The members of the regulatory committee listened to the prosecutor general. He brought the provision for the detention and arrest of MP Nadia Savchenko. The general prosecutor's office suspects her of preparing a terrorist attack to overthrow the government. To do this, she and General Volodymyr Ruban allegedly tried to recruit officers of the armed forces, who then reported to the security service. Weapons received from terrorists to Kiev to shoot civilians with mortars to destroy the constitutional authorities. This is why Yanukovych is dragging out the hearings against him, since he still considers himself legitimate and still counts on returning behind the backs of DNR terrorists after the explosions planned by you in Kiev. Nadia Savchenko continues to state that her words about the overthrow of government are just words. She has also denied the accusations of carrying weapons. To demonstrate her point, she shows the contents of her bag. Those are my grenades. But the MP still admits part of the allegations voiced by the prosecutor general. Specifically, she has repeatedly crossed the line of demarcation and gone to the occupied parts of Donetsk and Luhansk. She has also taken part in smuggling weapons. It was very important to let the government understand that this weapon can fire at them, but knowing that the SBU has been following me for a year, I understood and they understood that all that surrealism you were trying to pass on for the truth would not be realized. I made a political provocation. The committee wasn't convinced. The parliament has overwhelmingly supported the prosecutor general's provision. Charges against Nadia Savchenko are severe enough for a life imprisonment. The prosecutor general showed some evidence right in the session hall. A video depicts two people, who are claimed to be Savchenko and Volodymyr Rubin, speaking with the soldier. The two people on the recording tried to convince the serviceman to participate in a terrorist attack in the parliament hall. The person said to be Savchenko draws a diagram of the location of government officials during the president's speech. Here, when the president gives his speech, the diplomats get killed, we need eight grenades, each covering 200 meters. The dome above the chandelier, it just falls. All this collapses on video. Having heard the arguments of the prosecution, the members of parliament voted to bring Savchenko to criminal responsibility, detain and arrest her. She surrendered her mandate and left the Verhovna Rada. From there, surrounded by law enforcement, she was led to the SBU pretrial detention center.